Okay, on this video I'm going to show you a little bit about the golden ratio so that you are able to make more interesting thumbnails or more interesting composition of images for your portfolio. The first thing we need is we need to have a square. Okay, so in this example I have created, if you go to image, image size, a 200 by 200 pixels image or background for an image. I've also typed some text just for fun. Next I am going to go ahead and bring in a picture from the web. You know, I can, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that image from the browser and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Once I do that, I grab my move tool and I begin to resize it. So similar to my movie where I was showing you how to create thumbnails one at a time, I am doing sort of the same thing. But this time, what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and try to get an image like so that fits on a square. Now when I apply there's still image, an image, the image is spilling over over here and over here outside the boundaries of the canvas. So I'm going to do an extra step. I'm going to select my cropping tool and I'm going to go ahead and crop it. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that it's cropped. Next I am going to go ahead and use something called the golden ratio. The golden ratio is 1.618. And what you do with that is you go to image, canvas size, you're going to go ahead and press on this button because this fill to the right. So I need to multiply this number, which I'm going to switch to pixel so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm going to switch it to a width of 200 times. 1.618. Now, I know that when I did my crop, I added an extra pixel here. That's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, ignore it. And the reason I'm going to ignore it is because I don't need to be extra perfect here because I am going to run numbers up once, once I multiply 200 times 1.618 which is 326, which is how if I run up, would be 324. So I go back over here, I type in 324, which is my round up number from 323. Okay, click OK. And what that will give you will give me space right here, space that I can go ahead and color on the background layer. So I'm going to go ahead and come back over here and I am going to go ahead and throw away this layer because I don't need it anymore and select the background now I'm going to fill it with a color that is over here so I can pick this tan or I can pick this little part of her shirt go to edit fill foreground color and then it goes ahead and sample that color and fill it with this color then I can type a witty phrase so once you've added the text you want, you have now a picture that has text in the proportions of the golden ratio, which makes it more interesting. And if you were to put a grid on top of this, a tic-tac-toe grid like how we talk about in class, you will see also the rule of thirds is being observed and also used. And the rule of thirds happens to be also related to the golden ratio. For more information, go ahead and uh, look at the website that I've given you on the handout in class. Or if you happen to be watching this video and not taking my, cl taking my class, you can also go ahead and go and visit www.goldennumber.net, which is a place where they can explain the golden ration and the dividend proportion of Fibonacci series much, much better than you ever thought. Uh, it could be possibly explained for those of you that don't really appreciate math or care for math or you think you don't care for math. Okay? So go check it out. That's what actually inspired me to go ahead and do this example.